All right, so here's the move the needle haul for the week, and I'm probably just going to do this as a phone video because it, it's just easier that way. Um, so, yeah, Green Lantern, uh, one of the most uh, consistent series that's coming out of DC right now. Uh, this looks to be the end of the arc of uh, Green Lantern versus Zod, and it uh, doesn't look like it's going to go well for Green Lantern. Uh, next, to Terrifics. This series was uh, a really big surprise last week. Uh, the Terrifics, it just it looks like such an obvious ripoff of... The Fantastic Four, I didn't think there was any way it could be good, but between the artwork by Ivan Reyes and the relationship between the characters so far, even though they haven't really done that much, just the way that it was established was really good. So, yeah, really looking forward to this. Silencer number three, uh, also a big surprise that came out of the New Age of Heroes line. Uh, this looked like it had the biggest potential to just be really dumb and terrible, but it's actually been uh, really, really good. Uh, Wonder Woman, uh, this is a series that's coming out of DC that's been really solid, never, like, great or amazing, but it's always consistently, week in and week out, it's been uh, pretty good. Uh, Trinity, another series that's been really good. Uh, I really like that they're going through the whole Scar Terrace thing, that they haven't uh, given up on that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing where this one goes. Ghost Rider, number one. So, I... Christopher Sabella, who's the writer, said something about how this was going to make people angry, and I really shouldn't have bought this, and I'm probably going to regret it. I really like Ghost Rider, though, or at least I like the idea of Ghost Rider. So, I don't know, we'll see how it... Uh, we'll see what he meant by makes people angry. Uh, I also haven't been reading the Damnation event, so, yeah, we'll see where that goes. Uh, continuing my coverage of Avengers No Surrender, uh, this one and the last one ended with Wonder Man wanting to just simply talk Hulk out of his rage. That typically doesn't go well, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I don't know. What can I say? I think that this series is intriguing. Um, the, it, the initial shock value of the first issue kind of wore off, but it's still interesting. Uh, G.I. Joe, uh, number 250, which, geez, that's always a big milestone. I don't know if that's continuing the original Marvel numbering or not. I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't know anything about this new Snake Eyes. I, she's like a 19-year-old Hispanic girl that, through, you know, science fiction, whatever, got the memories of Snake Eyes, who's, like, dead or something. Eh, I don't know. I, I mean, this is Larry Hama, the guy who sort of invented G.I. Joe as we know it. Um, I've never been a huge G.I. Joe fan, but I don't know. We'll see how this is. It's an event issue, if nothing else. Doomsday Clock. Uh, they had to switch this series to bi-monthly because the artwork uh, it just took Gary Frank too long, which, given the level of detail and the level of quality of the art, is completely understandable. Uh, I recommend getting these covers because these covers are uh, the original um, Watchmen-inspired because the idea is that this is supposed to be the first panel, and I don't know, I just, I'm something of a, a curious ass in that regard. Uh, Metal, this has been the event of the past year. Uh, uh, Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo firing on all cylinders, going for, you know, big concepts, swing for the fences. Uh, this is going to shape the, sh you know, the direction of the DC Universe for at least the foreseeable future. You've got a lot of series that are coming out of this, you've got a lot of um, big events and a lot of big changes that are coming about as a result of this. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. And then finally, uh, Mystic U. Uh, this is the... It's kind of hard to believe this is the last issue because it seems like there's a lot they still have to wrap up. Uh, this series has been really weird. If it were completely canon, I would be really pissed off about it. But um, DC is much better at like recasting its heroes into more appropriate genres, so this is an alternate take on the mystic side of the DC Universe, where they are, um, they're basically Harry Potter. <laughs> There's no reason to hide that. So yeah, that's the haul for the week. Uh, uh, some good, some potentially really bad and cringy stuff, but uh, yeah, tell me what you think, tell me uh, what your haul is, uh, tell me what you're doing to move the needle. Uh, in any case, this is Unranked Chevron, signing off.